We introduced you to a Bay Area family last month that moved to Alabama after their East Bay laundromats were broken into repeatedly. They just had enough. Well, it's happened again, and there's one incident in particular that has the owner questioning police response. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim has a story you'll see only on 7. When we introduced you to Derek Toms in August, his family had moved to Alabama after their East Bay laundromats were broken into, vandalized and burglarized more times than they could keep track of. Three out of the four nights people have tried to get into my laundromat. Three out of four nights. That's crazy. After our story aired, the problems persisted. In a little over a week, Derek's laundromats were broken into multiple times, including this one where someone uses a wrench to smash through a front window and climb inside. It ended up being like six out of the eight days. And it was different people too, which is weird. But it's this incident from August 31st that's raising questions. At around midnight, the ATM was stolen from his sister's laundromat on International Boulevard near the Coliseum in Oakland. You can even see the suspects loaded into an awaiting vehicle as a pedestrian walks right on by. But wait, there's more. Around 5 a.m., what looks like a different group came, actually came back. And when they came back, they broke into the office. Derek's family, remotely from Alabama, monitored the situation and alerted Oakland police. You know, we stayed on the phone with them and gave them live updates. This outside camera shows the suspects run out and jump into an awaiting vehicle. What happens next has Derek scratching his head. Literally have somebody, you caught somebody red-handed, and you make zero attempt to even, like, turn on your lights or any of that stuff. I reached out to OPD, who said officers responded properly under the department's vehicle pursuit policy. Chases can only happen when there's a reasonable suspicion of a violent, forcible crime or suspicion a firearm is involved. It's a precaution Derek understands, but still wishes police could have safely done more. This isn't 5 p.m. during rush hour traffic. This isn't when kids are getting out of school. You know, if you're chasing a car into a school zone, right? Okay, let the car go. That, that's not worth it, right? You know, but at 5 a.m., who cares? Derek's family has since sold one of their laundromat locations in Alameda and still have no plans on coming back to California. You need police to stop these people. If you keep letting them go, it's just going to keep happening. The way that things are going now, this isn't sustainable. It's not sustainable. It's not good for the entire population of California. In Oakland, Dion Lim, ABC7 News.